It's a long way from the slopes of Europe to the streets of Yakima, but to Phil and Steve Mayer, it's home, and now a well-deserved rest. At the age of 24, they've done better than any American ever has in the ski world. Phil winning the World Cup for the second straight season, and Steve, the first American to win a gold medal in ski competition. Along with next season, the mayors are looking forward to a chance at the 1984 Olympics. Both of us would like to ski until 84, and then maybe afterwards. It just depends on um, how we feel about the sport and where we're going in it. But um, right now, I can't see myself quitting before then. I really this sport about the most uh, accomplished year, and uh, hopefully it'll continue on for the next two. Phil and Steve's mother, Mary, was on hand for the day's festivities, but one important person missing was their father, Dave. He's in China climbing Mount Everest. Ron Futrell reporting for NBC News. <laughs> They're a family raised on the mountains. Phil Mayer has won two straight World Cup skiing titles. Twin brother Steve became the first American to win a gold medal in ski competition. Together, they have put the U.S. on the ski world map, dominated for so many years by the Europeans. While the twins were skiing down, Father Dave was climbing up. At 54, he was the oldest member of the U.S. team that attempted to climb Mount Everest by the dangerous north face. They returned this week, missing the summit by only 1,500 feet. I think our expedition was... Uh a pioneering type uh, of adventure. Uh, it's a new and climbing concept to carry all your own gear. And I think with a very limited group of people, we uh, probably put more climbers above 25,000 feet uh, than any recent expedition. And in that respect, I'd have to say it's a success. That's a word very familiar to the Mayer family. Success has dominated their lives both up and down the slopes. Ron Futrell reporting for NBC News.